Hello, Christine Marie here, and I'm on my feet today because I am so, 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 so excited to talk to my darling feminine energy biased beings. I love you so much. I'm here for you. This channel is for you. This channel is about harnessing your power. And I'm so excited to offer these three words that you can stop using if you're ready to be on your path of thriving. Perhaps there's a little whisper deep, 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 deep down saying, hey, maybe my life could be better. Or maybe, especially if you're in creative phase, maybe it's all the way up here. Regardless, stop using these three words and you will be on your path, okay? So let's do this. Of course, housekeeping, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell so that you can receive notifications when more videos come out about how to get into alignment. When we can get into alignment faster, we can co-create intentions that are more effective, which equals dynamic manifestations, which equals a thriving life. Getting on the path is great. Staying on the path is even better. So as I said, I am Christine Marie, and I am absolutely in love with watching feminine energy beings shine their light. And if I can help guide them to that shining moment, all the better. So I stopped using these three words and my life got better. My clients, they stopped using these three words and their lives got better. So if you are not utterly in love with your life, then you should keep watching this video. Our first word is yes. Huh, surprised, huh? Well, this video is for feminine energy being and yes is not our power word. Our power word is no. We are typically raised in a world of obligation rather than action. You're supposed to, you should, that's not ladylike, be a good girl. These terms that are referencing these ambiguous ideas of what we could be are very overwhelming for us and put us on a track of perfectionism and put us on a track of people pleasing. And so when we take back our power with this brilliant word, no, we're taking the action of, like the airlines say, putting on our oxygen mask first. Putting on our oxygen mask first before helping others. Now, perhaps saying no gives you a little bit of panic and brings up some feelings. That's fine. Other things that you can say until you're ready for no, because we want this to be in gentleness, are, can I get back to you on that? And notice that I thought about it first. This beautiful pause, it's part of mindfulness, that's another video. Hey, can you do this for me? I, I need to think about it, let me get back to you. And then you call someone, or you read a book, or you watch this video, and you remember that your power word is no, and you send them an email and say no, or you send them a text message and say no. No explanations, no obligations, just no. Second word, but. Yes. But, yes, I am ready for a new car, but dot, dot, dot. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't have da, 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 da. In this case, yes is a declaration. Yes, I am, boom, affir affirmation affirmative. The but puts a giant arrow. I always think of pulling an arrow from the quiver and shooting it. I love the arrow symbolism. But shoots an arrow and splits. Whatever came before it and affirms whatever came after it. But is a very tricky word. If we don't use it, we don't have to sit there and figure out what we're actually communicating to a very simple-minded and yet powerful universe that doesn't understand negation. So when we say, yes, I want a new car, but I don't have enough money, the universe has heard, yes, I want a new car, I don't have enough money. Instead, and. So word number one, is yes, and we replace it with no. Number two is but, we replace it with and. Yes, I want a new car, and I'm gonna go online and start looking for one. I'm gonna go online and shop for it. Yes, I want a new car, and I wonder what budget I need for the car that I want. Engaging in the question is so powerful. Engaging in the I am, in the power of I am ready for this new car, so powerful. Don't limit it, don't cut it off. So, cut it out with the but. So now I have a quick question. We're already two words in. You've had a day. Maybe this is the first video you saw today, but even this morning, you may have had an offer to do something 
that you said yes to that you didn't want to say yes to. If you're this far in the video, you've definitely been saying a lot of yeses and you're ready to say no. I dare you. I dare you to change your mind, to double back and say no. Or, second part of the challenge, I dare you to say no at some point today. Tell us when in the comments you said no and how it felt. Okay, back to our third word, sorry. Good things come in threes. And sorry is a beautiful caboose to this train of things that we are no longer going to say. Sorry is especially powerful because it is typically preceded by the two words I am. I am wonderful affirmations. I am sorry. Whew. That's a huge blow that you just gave to yourself. I am sorry. Or I'm sorry. And then it's a slow-mo of the jaws getting punched because that's what you're doing. Also, when we say I am, as I said earlier, that's a scream to the universe. In the words of Walt Whitman, yawp. Do you want to yawp to the universe, I am sorry, and let that echo resound and resound and resound through the woods? And think about what it does to you. We, we stoop our shoulders, we tilt our head, we lower our voice, and we say, I am sorry. This position is one of submission. Our, my little dog is right over there on the floor. He's resting. When he messed up, he's going to do the very same thing. But he's only going to do it for an instant to acknowledge the mistake. Because when you do something wrong, it is what you did. It is not who you are. And when we engage in this dance of I'm sorry, what we're really doing is hiding. What we're really doing is taking ourselves off of the aligned path, if we were on it, and putting ourselves into a shame spiral. And for many of us, because it's a habit to do this, the shame spiral is a familiar place. And even if it's unsafe, we will seek familiarity before we'll seek what's actually right for us. There are these experiments where they put monkeys, ooh, it makes my heart beat fast to even say that, to think of like this experiment. Uh, but if you're faint of heart, fast forward this by about 15 seconds. But there's an experiment where they had monkeys and they would attach spikes to the quote mother that was filling in for the monkey cub. Is a monkey a cub or a baby? I will, re I will resolve that in the notes. But the monkey, when it was scared, when it was sad, when it felt shame, when it needed comfort, it would go to the spiky thing if it was all it had. And even when something soft and plushy and warm and soothing was introduced, out of habit, under duress, the monkey will still rush to the thing that hurts it. We have to reteach ourselves out of this sorrow out of this habit of shame. How do we do that? We consciously listen to our words and one of those words that we let go of, sorry. So we might even go, oh, I'm, excuse me, I made a mistake. Oh, hmm. I apologize and leave it there. So giving up, yes. Giving up, yes, but. Giving up, sorry. These are all new things that are deeply ingrained for many of us feminine energy biased beings. We can use mindfulness to put a pause between our words so that we can thoughtfully express ourselves and affirm, because what we say is an affirmation to the universe, affirm what we actually commit to in our lives instead of being victim to habit. Some of us may need support. I know to get on my path of thriving, I needed a lot of help. I raised my hand and I received help. If you need help, if you want a partner through this journey, I work in the path of fierce gentleness and I would be thrilled to do a clarity call with you. 
not to have you work with me, but to help you find what you might need. It might be coaching. It might be an online course. It might be a book, Marcus Aurelius. It might be just meditation, something really simple. But let's work together to find how we might get you on the path of thriving. But following the directions in this video is already a great start. Thank you, you made it to the end, and I'm so excited to tell you that next week's video is going to elaborate further on the danger of that first word, yes, and especially on how it affects our phases. That's right, menstrual phases. I mentioned the creative phase, but there are three other ones, and we're gonna go in deep on why yes is so destructive to a flowing, pun intended, flowing, happy, joyful, easy period.